A U.S. congressional delegation led by Appropriations Subcommittee on Military Construction Chair Debbie Wasserman Schultz assessed military construction in the region. Lawmakers traveled to Tinian on October 4th, where a divert airfield is being constructed. They weren't really asking. Uh, they, they just wanted to see at what stage the development is and maybe get some idea about the rough total, uh, the estimated total cost of the projects that they're looking at, that the military will be undertaking. Photos of their trip showing visits to the seaport and historic atomic bomb pits, accompanied by NMI delegate Gregorio Sablan and Tinian leadership, including council member Juanita Masga Mendiola. She told KUAM that she was impressed with Rear Admiral Benjamin Nicholson, commander of Joint Region Marianas. I saw him to be a very strong advocate for Tinian and uh, uh, for the common benefit of the community and the military as well. Uh, he was very, he was speaking very uh, strongly about the necessity about building the, rebuilding the breakwater to protect the seaports. She hopes JRM leadership remains the same to continue what she described as transparent dialogue. If they continue along this path of having a direct communication with the people of Tinian and not only the leadership, and of course the leadership's responsibility is to share all this information with the public, but at the same time when they're here and their presence are here, they need to effectively communicate with the people and explain to them what they are trying to accomplish. <clears throat> In the past, they have, they have had this arrogant attitude where they, th they probably thought that they are so powerful they can just come in and do what they want. The initial contract for the airfield construction alone totaled more than $160 million. Tomas Manglonia for KUAM News on Saipan.